Welcome to TechCast with Jake. I am your host, Jake Nonamaker. Today I want to show you how to create an image of your Windows computer. And part of your motivation for this is because uh, Microsoft is offering uh, Windows 10 upgrade for free through July 29th, 2016. And a lot of people are upgrading their computers and some, just a few, are having some problems with it which I suspect primarily is due to uh, some impatience during the upgrade process, which does take some, a long time. If you reboot your computer during the upgrade process, you're basically going to hose it and it'll be unbootable. So my advice whenever you're going to do this upgrade is to first do an image of the computer before you proceed with the upgrade. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create a system image in Windows 10, and this process is very similar if you have Windows 8.1 or Windows 8. All right, so first thing we're going to do is go to Settings, and I usually will get there by clicking on the Notification tab. You'll have this All Settings button, and that will open up the Settings, and I want to go down to Windows Update and Security, so click on that. And we'll have on uh, the left side a backup option. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you'll see this more options. I'm going to go ahead and click on more options. And I do not know why uh, Microsoft buries it like this, like they do, but they do. And uh, so you have to find uh, the magical uh, path to get to it. See advanced settings. Okay, now this is going to open up uh, the file history, and you'll see the system image back up towards the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and then there's going to be one more navigation button I click on, and then we'll see uh, this create a system image. Okay, I also have an option here to set up a backup, uh, which I do not have set up currently. Uh, but I'll, uh, well, if I do a set up a backup, that's going to back up my files, uh, you know, my movies, any uh, photos I have, uh, any data like that that's uh, residing in my documents directory or in my uh, libraries. Uh, so I don't want to do that. All I want to do is create a system image. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create a system image. And that's going to open up this window. Where do you want to save the backup? Now I have uh, I've plugged in a Western Digital um, external hard drive. So right now the first thing it does is it searches for that external hard drive or, or any other devices. But I also have an option here to I'll move this window up. I have an option to back it up to DVDs if I wanted to. So a DVD is going to hold about 4.7 gigabytes of data. So I'm going to need a few CDs, uh, or DVDs rather, in order to back up an image. Or I can, uh, can back it up to a network location if I have a NAS or a server, or perhaps even another PC on the network that I want to back my image up to. So that's also an option. But I'm going to go ahead and back it up to my uh, external hard drive, which is my E drive in this case. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see. This is a little high. I'm going to hide this bar here. All right, so that's a little bit better. I can you can see it now. So this is going to be the uh, the final window to start the backup. So it's saying that it's going to back up my system reserved systems uh, that's system files and also the C drive to my uh, E drive, which is my external uh, hard drive. And it's going to take 18 gigabytes of space. So I'm going to click that. Uh, you got to be careful because if you have like an older version, it might have a lot more room than 18 gigabytes. This happens to be just a uh, kind of a test image of a uh, Windows 10. So I don't have a lot of data on there. And it's basically a fresh installation of Windows 10. And uh, it's so it's, it's very, very small. But you know, your um, system drive, your C drive can grow to... Uh, you know, 50 gigs is probably pretty normal, but it could grow above 100, 150 gigabytes. So uh, you just have to make sure that you have adequate hard drive space to uh, accommodate that if you're going to be backing up your um, your image. All right, so we're going to go ahead and wait for this to back up. And this is going to take a few minutes. Even though it's small, it's going to take a few minutes. 
if you're doing if you have of course if you have a larger hard drive it's going to take a um, a uh, uh, longer much longer amount of time for it to back up so the first thing it's going to do is prepare to uh, create the backup and then once it creates the prepares to create the backup it's going to go ahead and create it so let's go ahead and speed through this and uh, come out the other side okay uh, our Backup of our C drive, our system drive is complete, and as you see, we now have this option to create a system repair disk. This is actually a really good idea because if uh, something happens to your hard drive and you need to install a new hard drive and restore your backup image that we just created, this will allow you to boot into a rudimentary version of Windows so that we can go ahead and utilize that backup image we created. So my recommendation would be to go ahead and get a DVD, a writable DVD um, disk. You only need one and put that in your drive and go ahead and click yes and it will go through and it will burn a, a bootable version of Windows. Uh, so um, if you do have a disaster, you can use that. But for this um, demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and skip this part. And it's going to click no. And as you can see, it says our backup uh, completed successfully. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And that is done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, open up my file explorer just so we can take a look at uh, what we've created, our backup image on our uh, eDrive. So I'm going to go down to our E drive and you'll see there's the it create this folder Windows ba uh, image backup and then it has the name of my computer here and then I'm going to go to now the backup files are actually in here there's some other files that are used to create the image but I'm going to go into this directory and we'll see that I have uh, about 18 gigs of image here and this is the reserve system space that was backed up. That's a separate hidden image on the hard drive. And uh, that was only 374 megabytes. So so that's it. Um, I just created an image. This is on my external hard drive. So if I have any problems, I can go into that and pull that up. And let's see if we can um, do uh, replicate that. So I'm gonna go ahead and reboot my computer. And what I'm gonna do See, I'm gonna to go to do it this way. All right, we're gonna power, and then we're gonna restart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press F8 as the computer boots up, and this will allow me to uh, get into my uh, boot screen, like in my emergency repair screen. So we'll uh, go ahead and let this restart. Okay, so that I hit it. It's F8. So now I'm doing an automatic, uh, preparing automatic repair. So of course, this is if I have an unbootable image. Whenever you have a, a problem with Windows and it won't boot into Windows, you can always press F8. And that goes to a, a menu screen where I can go into safe mode or I can do a repair. So I'm gonna, um, my computer is functional so I can go into a repair. I mean, it's it can boot and get a blue screen. Sometimes what happens is, uh, if, like I was saying earlier, if your hard drive failed, uh, you won't be able to do the F8. That's not going to help you. You know, if your uh, hard drive is destroyed, you're going to have to get, re get a replacement hard drive and then use that Windows Repair DVD that you know we could you burn in that previous window. You're going to boot to that, and then you're going to restore your image from the uh, external hard drive. So uh, this takes a few minutes. It's diagnosing the PC. It's trying to see if there's any problems. And it, uh, this repair process is actually pretty good in Windows 10 because it goes through uh, a number of things and a number of checks. And it's um, self-repairing to a certain extent, which is kind of neat. It, it will reboot to your um, to a previous uh, restore point, which is nice. Uh, but it also gives you an option to restore an image. So. So I got the automatic repair and it says uh, did not start correctly. So I can tell it just go ahead and restart. But I want to go to advanced options because what I want to do is see if I can use that image that I created. So I'm going to go to uh, advanced options. And then I'm going to go to, let's see, I'm going to, um, tr troubleshoot. And, so, and now I'm given an option to either... Um, remove my files and reinstall Windows, but I don't want to do that. 
what I want to do is do a system image recovery. So on this advanced options screen, I have system restore. If I have a restore point, like a fully, if I have a fully functional Windows 10 computer, but I want to back it out to a previous restore point, I could use this option. Uh, that's what I would use that if I had like a virus infection or something like that, or if there was a driver that I installed, like some piece of hardware that a driver got installed and it's caught in a loop. But uh, in this case, if I want to use my system image recovery and where it wipes out all my settings and gives me a new image, I'm going to click on this option. So it's scanning um, my hard drive for um, images and it found, uh, okay, so in this case, it found an image at on the F drive. So something happened there where when it was in, the, in this emergency boot process, it uh, re-lettered my drive. So uh, my external hard drive is a um, is the F drive uh, that was created at 139. That's about right. And that's my computer name. So I can select that and just go forward. But I'm going to say select a uh, system image. And okay, so I would only have the one. If I had a number of them, I could select which one, uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and select this one here. Just go next. And I'm gonna select it. And then I would click next. And I can, it doesn't give me an option to format and repartition the disc, which is fine. Uh, Cause this is the same disc. I don't need to do that. And I don't need to install any drivers or anything like that. So. I'm going to click next and it's going to just confirming your computer will be restored from the following system image. That's the one I created. And I'm going to, oh, and then it has an, uh, a message here. If this restore process is interrupted or fails to complete, your computer might not start, start up, quote unquote, boot. If this happens, you can use a system repair disk, the one that we could have burned in the previous window, to try to restore the computer again or attempt other system recovery options. Oh, and, and look at that. It gives me an option to create a system repair disk right from this screen. So that's something new from Windows 10. Uh, so I'm just going to go finish. It's going to tell you it's going to wipe out my disk, and that's fine because it's already, let's pretend that it's not bootable because I installed some update and my computer won't boot. So this is just going to go through and restore, the, restore um, my previous operating system from that restore point. So uh, again, depending on how much, how big the image is, it's going to take some time. It's uh, reading the data off the external hard drive and trying to run a restore. This actually looks like it's pretty going pretty good. I have about 18 gigabytes uh, on my system drive, but if you're a normal, like a normal user is going to probably be using anywhere between 50 gigabytes, 150 gigabytes on their C drive. Yeah, even, even more. If you have data on your C drive, it could be even larger than that. It could be, you know, 500 gigs if you're storing like a lot of videos and uh, photos and things like that. It might be really big. Uh, but this is my test computer, so it's going pretty quick. And it will um, finish up here in a minute, it looks like, which is pretty good. So I guess the restore process is much shorter than the um, imaging process. So this will, uh, cause it's going to finish up or was it just reading? Nope. <laughs> it faked us out. It's, uh, restoring the disk. So it was doing like a, an analysis of the image first and trying to figure out where it's going to put that image and what's on it. So this is going to take a few minutes. Uh, we'll go ahead and let this run and uh, check on it later. Okay. The system restore is done. Uh, and now it is, uh, wants to reboot after restore is complete uh, of the image and I'm going to go ahead uh, I can let it either time out or I'm going to go ahead and just click restart now and we'll see if this boots into our Windows 10 restore and it looks there's the Windows 10 splash screen so that's looking good that's promising and uh, yeah so this uh, image um, is going to be uh, from the time that we took it and you know so if you um, you know, have an image that may be, I don't know, a year old or something, you could restore that. But the problem is that your data is going to be that old. So you got to um, do a recovery or a restore of your data uh, 
hopefully from a more recent backup. You know, you know if you're using a backup, uh, you know, any kind of offsite backup or a backup of just your files, your photos, if you're backing that up to a external hard drive, you'll have to restore that on top of the image restore. So, uh, yeah, so this is going to, this is because it's booting just nicely, no errors or anything. Um, so I'm going to just wait for this to boot up. Uh, this is a nice feature. You know, this is really great that this uh, that this is part of Windows. It's easy to do. Uh, it takes a little time, especially if you have a large image. But you know what? It's um, worth it to do uh, a system image backup onto your external hard drive, plus uh, do the emergency restore disk uh, for sure. All right. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And... Password, and that's it. it. It booted. It was successful, and it's going to uh, log log me in. If it wasn't successful, I would not be at this screen logging in. I wouldn't even get to this screen. But this looks great. So uh, thank you for watching uh, TechCast with Jake. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to uh, the our YouTube video channel. And if you have any questions, you can contact me at Twitter at Jake Donamaker, or you can email me jake at axacom.net. And I'll leave uh, some information in the show notes below. But thank you for watching and have a great day.